And now the rest of the box. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. Today is such an exciting video. Like, I cannot even explain. Because today we're gonna organize my bookshelves together. I moved to this new space a month and a half ago. So my books been on the floor in a cardboard box for a month and a half. I feel like I neglected my children. And my plan is to do this as quick as possible because I really want to have enough time to go outside and read today. So we'll see. Anyways, let's start. I'll show you my bookshelves. You may know this one if you follow me for a little while, but I'll show you my new bookshelves. I'm so excited. Let's go. So here's my bookshelf number one. She, she's everything. I love her. She's been custom made. She's not like anything special, but I love like the crisscrossing. It's wooden. And I just recently restained the wood, like darker, deeper color. Here's what we are talking about. My Pinterest worthy, as I call them, building bookshelves. And I made them. I mean, I picked the wood, stained the wood, and my godfather helped me to put them on. Because it was like kind of hard you had to drill the wall to do that so now the gameplay i need to sort all of my books by genre and also sort out my physical tbr which is like a really small amount of books but i need them separate i've been thinking about myself today think how i changed how i really don't care if you Okay, so my plan is to make this shelf my main fantasy shelf. So basically, I really want to display some books. I have some really, really beautiful fantasy books. Like most of my books are fantasy books, by the way. So I just really want to see all of them in all their glory. And I feel like most of my fantasy books are gonna fit. And my built-in bookshelves, they're gonna be just... I really want like a messy kind of aesthetic. I feel like I'm gonna throw some random pieces out there. They're gonna be lamps. Like for example, this lamp is usually right there and it's so convenient because I can read with this lamp and it just like in general such a good lighting. But honestly, I don't know because until I start, I don't know how many books are gonna fit on this shelf, how many books are gonna be left for these shelves. I have no freaking clue. So we're just gonna start doing this and figure it out. I'm less stressed these days about stuff like this because I understand that I can always switch it up. I mean, we can film a video like this every single month. Fuck it. I think I've been obsessing over my future gallery wall last night and then you can easily change prints every single month. Like all the aesthetic, everything, you can change it. Like for the context, I'm a person with such a severe anxiety and this feeling of constant doubt like i'm always anxious about everything who knew the creating gallery wall can be life-changing okay let's go back to the bookshelves but first let's dust off the shelves yes we have to agree to disagree for this one last time yeah i guess let's start is it good enough for you to see the two top shelves, hopefully. Okay, my full fantasy shelf. I'm so excited. So what I want to do is to put at least one display book on each of the shelves. I have four shelves, so I need four, like, the best, the prettiest. My favorite books that I own, basically. Here I have my best of the best. So basically I have a lot of Sarah J Mass books, so there's gonna be a Sarah J Mass shelf. Not a single full series though. But this one is kind of like the newest family member and is gorgeous, so definitely a display book. Just absolutely gorgeous. My pride and joy, the Ballad of Never After, UK first edition. I would love to display like that. But I really, really love this cover. Like, I would die for this cover. Still truly think my prettiest book ever. And I also have Rule of Wolves. Such a beautiful, beautiful book. Also have 
spoiling. I have quite a lot of Russian fantasy now. And I don't know if I want to put it on this shelf. Why is it so hard to decide? Okay, let's start assembling the shelves. We'll decide later. Okay, let's do a YA fantasy first. I don't have two more Stephanie Garber books. Still can I get my hands on Carol. Huh. So I also have these. So potentially it's YA fantasy, but like the color scheme kind of... Huh. Wait a minute. What about fourth wing? Huh. Until I get my English copies of fourth wing and iron flame. That's good. Okay, I guess the first one is good. So I want to make the second shelf either my Sarah G. Mass shelf or Harry Potter shelf. It's so stunning. There are only three parts translated into Belarusian and uh, I'm pretty sure this is it. And I don't have the first one. At this point, I'm done searching. I'm pretty sure they're all sold out and this is all I have, but I cherish these books and they are absolutely amazing. Time to go down. So this one is for my Sarah G. Mass book. Mm, okay, I'm kind of like so-so about my Sarah G. Mass shelf. It just does not vibe. Like books does not complement each other at all. I mean, but until I get some more, like I really need like the entire actor i don't know why i don't have the entire actor series i never cared as much i i have two copies of a court of mist and fury can you tell what my favorite book of all time is should i move it down bottom shelf book jail give me a second that's gonna be better now i'm like i don't know if i should do a physical tbr because i have like babel and i feel like it's more of a fantasy so I kind of want to put it on there. We'll figure it out. Let me take care of my Libra Duga first. I have only three books. I don't know how. Like, I don't have enough books. Like, I need more. I need more. I need more. Can I do like this? I feel like it's good enough. I'll do a little tour at the end of the video. Just like overall view. But we're done with my fantasy shelf. And now the rest of the books. Like my lamp. It's just gonna stay here because it's like the perfect place for her and I love it. Yep. Perfect. These are basically my only non-fantasy books. I already can see myself adding romance books to my cart tonight. Fourth Wing, Dance of Thieves duology, haven't read this one, Legendary and Finale, I cannot get my hands on Caraval for the life of me, The Ballad of Never After, I'm in desperate need of the entire Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, like, send help. And here we have Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron, The Last Towers by Cindra Clare, missing the third book. I miss a lot of books. Here we have our Harry Potter books. Beautiful Minalima edition and my favorite Bloomsbury and two Belarusian books. And here I have this thing. It's actually a Christmas ornament. My mom gifted it to me this last Christmas. And I decided to leave it because it's like be it's beautiful and it's absolutely magical here. And also I have my wand. Down here we have a mix of everything. Well, Wolves by Lee Bardugo, Six of Crows, a Russian special edition, Six of Crows, just regular edition. This is from Blood and Ash special edition. This is the second book. I have no idea how it's called in English, I'm sorry. And Babel. And down here we have our book jail because they don't match each other's aesthetics. Not at all. We have three books, four books, but kind of three books of Akatar, two books, like the first and the last book of Throne of Glass still have to read Kingdom of Ash, I'm afraid of it. And randomly, second book in Crescent City. Here are building bookshelves. I know right now not that sexy. They need some decor, some plants, and also lots of books. I have like a huge excuse now to buy books. Like I need books to fill my shelves. It's like interior kind of a design. <laughs> 
hopping on the bed. I don't want to fall. Here we go, our first shelf. We have Midnight's that was gifted by my best friend from friends. She sent me this and Fearless. And I'm so grateful because we don't have any Taylor Swift CDs. This is kind of my romance rom-com shelf with a little bit of everything in it. We have Girl Online on tour. Don't ask me. I actually really love Girl Online series. Like, I don't care what people say. And it was my first book in English that I ever bought myself with my own money. And I made these spray digits myself. Trails All the Way Down by John Green. I'm so excited. We're getting a movie this spring, I'm pretty sure. Beach Read, People We Meet on Vacation, Book Lovers. Still haven't read People We Meet on Vacation. And I'm waiting for something. These books are the US editions and I'm so happy to have them because most of my books are from the UK. You have The Summer Turn Pretty and It's Not Summer Without You. This is my newest book. I don't even dare to say the name of this book because I have no idea how to pronounce it. But I'm so excited. Here we have Normal People, Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Love both of these. Where the Crowd at Sing, one of my favorite books ever. Need to reread it actually. It, it was really good. A little life. It's on my TBR for two years. I'm scared as shit. Also, one of my favorite books, If You Want Villains, Paper Towns, Super Random, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Exciting Times. Still haven't read it. Here's shelf number two. There are a lot of like Russian books. This is a beautiful edition. Ooh, I don't even. I hope they're not gonna fall. I just wanna show you this book really quick. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful illustrated book about books. And I know it's translated from English, so I have read this one. This is Atlas 6, 1984 by Orwell. I have read this one. This is Cassandra Clare. I'm pretty sure it's the second book. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's The City of Ash, the second book in The Moral Instruments. Also with my handmade sprayed edges. Weather in Heights, All Flowers in Paris, if I'm right. This is a French author, have no idea how this book called in English. Little Women, Crime and Punishment, and this is... Ooh, I have no idea what this book is. And there's my other Harry Potter edition. Hey guys, this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for organizing my bookshelves with me. It feels so good in my room right now, like everything on its places. As always, have the best the rest of the day and the rest of the week, and I'll see you very soon. Also, we really need to go book shopping, so get ready. We're going book shopping soon. I need, I need books. And for now, bye!